Hello guys, I'm Oluwa Toby. You can call me Toby. I'm making a video to detail my journey into Canadian residency. I recently matched into general surgery at the University of Toronto, and that's I'm quite excited about. So I'll just quickly go through my story, give some summary of the process of uh, matching, and the some general advice on how to improve your uh, chances. So yeah, so I made a quick PowerPoint just to guide us. Um, so I matched this, this is my story and journey to Canadian residency. And I went to medical school in Nigeria. That's Obafemi Aolo University, Ile Fair, we call it the Great Fair. And in my final year in medical school, I took advantage of the four week period for a medical student electives. I wrote several emails to um, schools all over Canada asking for an elective opportunity. I finally got one from the University of Manitoba, Winnipeg, where I went to do pediatric surgery for four weeks. I returned to Nigeria, completed medical school, I had the, the one year of internship and then completed the one year of national youth service. I went into residency in Nigeria, that's at um, Ibadan um, in surgery. And in my third year of residency in Ibadan, I had one that lost again. I wanted to go um, and see what was out there in the world. So I sent emails all over Canada to several schools and asking for elective opportunities uh, as a surgical resident and I got I was able to secure a three-month elective at uh, University of Manitoba uh, Winnipeg and also an observership for a few weeks in Toronto with a urologist and this period really exposed me to the Canadian health system and I was very impressed with it. Um, I then returned to Nigeria, completed my training, and then decided to leave for Canada. Um, some other things I added to my journey was that I volunteered several times uh, on medical missions uh, to rural Ghana and rural Nigeria. I was also involved in leadership. I was the vice president of Association of Resident Doctors in Ibadan. And I made sure to uh, publish a couple of papers in general surgery and urology. And I kept in touch with my preceptors, my supervisors, and even co-residents over the time. And I migrated just about a year ago to Canada. I went through the landed immigrant pathway that's the express entry or and became a permanent resident. And in the one year when I landed, I knew that I needed to put a lot of effort into getting into practice. So I started with the examinations. Um, I started with the uh, QE1 examination that's the Medical Council of Canada qualifying examination one. And to prepare for this, I used the UWorld step two CK. A lot of you might know that. Uh, to prepare for uh, this. I saw that the questions were similar. I also took advantage of the practice test on the MCC website. It's very imperative that you use that if you're writing this exam. And I read a lot of the information on the CMPA website. Well, CMPA is the Canadian Medical Protective um, Agency. I hope I got that right. Um, CMPA website. I put all the links to these websites in the description to, uh, below. And then uh, for the NAC OSCE, NAC OSCE is the National Assessment Collaboration. It's an objective structured clinical exam where you are observed while you interact with simulated patients. Um, it's a one day exam, about uh, 10 stations, and it can be nerve wracking. Uh, but you need to practice. And so I practiced, I joined a group, it was called Medcognito. Uh, and this is not a paid advertisement for them, uh, but it was a great um, 
opportunity to practice with colleagues and get better at communicating and being able to uh, elicit uh, patient history and describe uh, physical examination. I then went on to write the IALTS academic, which is required to show English proficiency for the residency programs. Um, many programs also require CASPA. CASPA is a situational judgment test, um, just to understand how you think. And um, that I also uh, took. I decided, I also uh, did um, a basic, uh, basic uh, life support and advanced cardiac life support um, training just to improve my uh, resume. And um, I made sure to start early with CAMS. CAMS is a Canadian residency matching service. It helps to match applicants to programs. And this is done by an algorithm that looks at the rank order list of an applicant and compares it with the uh, way programs rank uh, applicants so that an applicant can get their preferred position based on the available positions and their position on the ranking of the program. There, you can get a lot more information about this on the CAMS website. There are videos explaining the, uh, the match algorithm and the match system. I also took advantage of IMG programs. These are programs that are dedicated to IMGs, international medical graduates who are in the country who are trying to get into practice either through alternative pathway. And um, this, I used, I used the services of EMGA, and that's the Alberta's IMG program. Uh, uh, and they were really helpful in helping to uh, refer to my read my uh, documents and preparing me for the process. And eventually I submitted my documents and I waited for interviews. I got three interviews and I put in as much as I could into preparing for these interviews. I took advantage of uh, some interview prep courses. I put some links in the, uh, in the description below you can take advantage of them. Some of them are quite expensive. And um, after, the ex after the interview, I sent an email to the program director thanking them for the interview. Um, the interview for University of Toronto General Surgery program was a multiple mini interview where you go into several rooms and you ask, you meet different interviewers and um, a total score is collected at the end of that. And I waited in trembling, shaking hands on for match day and checking my match results was one of the most <laughs> one of the most terrifying things to do. My hands were shaking and I was just numb. And when I saw the result, I was so, so glad and excited that I got this very competitive position. And so that's my story. Um, so I'll just quickly summarize the pathway to uh, Canadian residency. Um, you start with applying and registering for an account on Physician Apply, where you can source verify your credentials. Um, start to early to take the key one, the NACOS key. Some of these eggs, you can take the key one outside Canada. The NACOS key, you have to come to Canada to take it. Um, IELTS, though that has a two year expiry, so you have to take it close to when you want to apply. And then CASPA. Um, some provinces require you to participate in assessment programs like British Columbia, uh, BC, and um, Alberta. And to get into a residency position via CAMS, you would need to be a Canadian citizen or permanent resident, so that you would need to get and then prepare your documents early, uh, personal statements, uh, letters, uh, CV, and then start to request for letters of reference from supervisors, get Dean's letter from your medical school and um, submit the applications via the CAMS website and hope to get interview offers and prepare well for these interviews and give your best and hope for the best on match day. Um, so 
some advice for let me move this away. So some advice on residency match. If you're currently in medical school, push for excellence, try to get honors as much as possible, participate in extracurricular activities, volunteer in things that showcase leadership and teamwork, anything that can also show interest in the specialty you are interested in. There are uh, societies and groups that are dedicated to uh, research and advocacy in your desired specialty participate in that and then make sure to find ways to get electives in canadian medical schools or or especially in that specialty and especially in schools that have usually provided img sports um, over the years and make sure to get involved in the in in research in that field that you are interested in um, if you're done with medical school time is moving fast. The longer you are out of uh, medical school or practice, the less competitive you are as, a, as an applicant. So be quick about getting the exams done, uh, seek opportunities for, um, for electives and observerships. Um, at many of these Canadian programs, make sure to be proactive. You can send code emails. Just go on the website. You see some emails. Send emails. Introduce yourself. Say you are interested in either an observership or an elective. Just something to get you in the door. Also, keep uh, you know get involved in research. If it's a poster, that's something, and join relevant societies or organizations that show that you're interested in that desired specialty, and there's a lot of reading to do. You have to research these programs, get to know uh, what they require in candidates. There's a lot of information on the CAMS website, on the help desk, lots of information. And MCC's website is also very helpful. And if you've completed uh, postgraduate training, consider applying for fellowships. It can be clinical fellowship or research fellowships. This can sometimes be difficult to get, but that's a way to get your foot in the door and you get to know they get to know you you get to know them and when you are applying it makes you more competitive and um, try to maintain currency of practice the longer outside practice you've been the less um, the less competitive you are and make sure to sell your experience um, in conclusion it's quite true that it can be tough to get residency positions in Canada for IMGs. These positions are very competitive. The surgical ones are more competitive, like for general surgery, in the year that I matched, there were only four positions in the whole country for IMGs, and several people uh, applied for that. Oh, um, standouts by ticking out all the boxes for those programs and give it your best. Um, and so these are the seven points I want to, to take home, take away from here. These are absolutely important things that will improve your match. One, a very good command of you know, the English language and splendid communication skills. If you can speak French, you are very competitive because you can also apply to a lot of the French speaking uh, programs to uh, which a lot of people don't go for. Um, also, have relevant clinical experience in Canada and show that you have proved and um, consistent academic excellence over the years. Um, you should have good, good performance at the required examinations as the QE1, the NACOS key, um, the IELTS, and um, the recency of clinical practice or experience is also very important. The longer away from practice you've been, the less um, the less desirable a candidate is. And you have to show a well-researched knowledge of the programs at the interviews, at the, in writing your essays. So you have to start early, go to the program websites. There's so much information that is available. And lastly, you need lots and lots of luck. So um, that is my story. That is my... That is my story. That is uh, my advice for everyone who is interested in this pathway. Uh, you can put comments down below. I've also shared the uh, the websites to these uh, resources. And 
good luck.